guys, welcome to the first Top Bobby Boy Top 10. And in this Top 10 episode, we go over my Top 10 Best Kirby Games, in my opinion. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, in the first game, uh, for number 10, we have Kirby's Adventure. Uh, which is the first Kirby game in the series which uh, introduce Kirby copy abilities and that that that's just great and Kirby copy abilities have become a really big thing in uh, future Kirby games and for being the second Kirby game in the series of like Kirby games ever I I actually think it's actually pretty cool and that's why it's number 10 on this list for number nine we have Kirby's pinball land hey have you ever wanted to become a ball in a pinball machine well now you can in Kirby's pinball land in this game Kirby becomes a ball and basically you just play pinball with them that's it Kirby just becomes a pinball and you just knock them around everywhere. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You just, it's basically pinball with Kirby characters and Kirby's the ball. But it is really satisfying to see Kirby get pounded with metal flippers. For number eight, we have uh, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Now, this game is fun. It's it's really fun. And for a Nintendo 64 game, obviously, it's a really great Kirby game with excellent music, excellent bosses, and excellent gameplay. Basically, it's like a really good Kirby game. And also with mixing copy abilities to make a to make one big copy ability uh it, at your disposal is just it's just great, okay? Just deal with it. For number seven, we have Kirby's Dream Land. And Kirby's Dream Land is the first in the series. And basically, Kirby's Dream Land is just a fun, simple, simple game. And the reason why it's seven on this list is because, you know, it's the first Kirby game. It's not all that great, but it's still it's still a fun Kirby game to just pick up and play on your Game Boy or your DS, whatever you want to play it on. And it's it's just a fun, awesome platformer that just that just started it all. So that's why it's number seven on this list. For number six, we have Kirby's Dreamland Two, <laughs> which is the sequel to number seven. And basically, in Kirby's Dream Land 2, you basically explore the world with your heart's content, not really. And basically, with new copy abilities and three friends, uh, Kirby's friends at, at your disposal, you can basically conquer the world of Dream Land. And uh, yeah, so with Rick, Kine, and Koo, which is the animal friend's name, you can even make new abilities with those friends. So. It's actually a really fun game, and, uh, yeah. For number five, we have Kirby Squeak Squad. And Kirby Squeak Squad is just a fun, it's just, it's just a fun game to play. So, yeah. It's, it's just a really fun game to play, and for, for the Nintendo DS, it's actually a really fun game because it's like with uh, with the added ability on where you can uh, take your copy abilities and store them down on the bottom screen just makes this game much more fun with also the collectibles and hidden chests by beating challenges and the music is just great and this game probably has the best storyline in any Kirby game ever. Kirby's cake gets stolen. Good job, Nintendo. You really did it there. For number four, we have Kirby's Mass Attack. 
Now, Kirby's Mass Attack is basically a Kirby game for the Nintendo DS where an evil wizard thing named Necrodius splits Kirby into ten Kirbys and that's what you have to do throughout the entire game is just control a bunch of ten Kirbys with your stylus through many obstacles, challenges, and just fun boss battles and I still don't have a hundred percent on it because I'm stuck on a level and I just I don't know, okay? But this one had a very close uh, close tie with uh, Kirby Squeeze Squad and Mass Attack. But for Kirby beginners, I think you should get this game because it's really challenging for a Kirby game and I think it's just the perfect game that beginners should play. For number three, we have Kirby's Canvas Curse. And Kirby's Canvas Curse is a very interesting game. Oh, sorry, that's my uh, garage door opening. <laughs> Ugh, so many interruptions. But anyway, uh, Kirby Canvas Curse is basically a game where you use your stylus to control Kirby through many obstacles and challenges, and basically the world is corrupted by a witch and turned into a big painting, which then Kirby accidentally gets changed into a ball and has to defeat this witch in order to return Dreamland back to the way it was before. For number two, we have Kirby's Triple Deluxe. And this game is the newest game in the Kirby series, and I think that this game is actually pretty neat. Um, it's, it's a really great game for most Kirby beginners, and if you have a 3DS, you should come pick this up, because it has really great music, really great gameplay, really great graphics, really great storyline, and just, the boss battles are just plain amazing. So I think that maybe you should uh, pick this game up, because it's awesome. Alright, and before we get into number one, let's uh, do a quick little recap. Number 10, Kirby's Adventure. Number 9, Kirby's Pinball Land. Number 8, Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. Number 7, Kirby's Dream Land. Number 6, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Number 5, Kirby's Squeak Squad. Number 4, Kirby Mass Attack. Number 3, Kirby's Canvas Curse. And number 2, Kirby Triple Deluxe. Now, and my favorite Kirby game of all time is <gasps> Kirby's Dreamland 3. Where do I begin? Oh my gosh. This game is just, uh, in my opinion, is the best Kirby game ever. With its fun details, its fun gameplay, it has two final bosses. One of the final bosses is a bloody eyeball. A bloody eyeball, man! And don't forget that the graphics in the game and the artwork looks like the whole game is made with colored pencils and crayons. Dude, that's just the most creative idea I've ever heard of. So, yeah, that's why I think Kirby's Dream Land 3 is awesome. Oh, and did I mention the new copy abilities and the three new friends, animal friends in that game? Ugh, it's just everything about this game is amazing. Ugh, so that's why, so that is my top 10 best Kirby games in my opinion. And I hope you like my first Kirby top 10. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget that I'm making a second part to this called uh, my top ten, uh, my top ten cur uh, worst Kirby games. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.